All right. Well, I mean, what's the excitement level for you entering this season? Well, I just uh, every time, you know, this time of year, no matter what, it, it, the goosebumps happen, you know, and, and uh, but for me, it's it's about our players that have had a really great off season. I'm, I'm just proud of how far they've come now. Being able to get back with them uh, on an everyday basis, uh, that's really that's really the excitement. What about this team? I mean, it's not necessarily all your guys that you gravitated to right away. No, they they um, you know they're a bunch of good good kids, uh, good young men, and I've seen a lot of them grow uh, since we've been here. And obviously, they they are, didn't have a great year last year, and yet sometimes that happens. That's no one's fault, uh, and yet. They're eager to really come back and say, you know what, this is what Chippewa football is supposed to be and this is what it's all about. So uh, I'm excited for them. What was your message to them about coming off a season like that? I mean, sure. do you wipe it away or do you learn, take it and learn from it? How do you kind of approach that? Well, I, I, everything you do in life is an opportunity to learn from it. And, you know, as I told them, I said, look, it happened. I mean, it is what it is. And yet, you know what, let's kind of pick apart some of the reasons why and let's go work on that you know th those are the things we need to do first so anytime you take over a program it's about kind of taking the good things and and making them better and then taking some of the things that need to be worked on and really focus on those kind of one at a time mm -hmm. because if you try to tackle it all at once you never really get it handled so uh, for us um, it's about our guys wanting to be great in everything that they do. And uh, you know, I've seen some really great strides on that. Coming from the programs that you've worked at before, I mean, mm -hmm. how much of, of those things that you learned there can you take this time around and, and change it and do it differently for yourself? You know, there's uh, <laughs> the trial and error piece and learning from everything good, everything bad. Um, and then fitting it to the place that you're at. That That's really where, where we've kind of bunk. I've got a great group of coaches uh, been able to get some of the band back together and they're they're great guys that, that understand the reason we do what we do is because of the players and so everything we do is focused on helping them be successful and uh, you know them working on themselves a little bit that we've spent a lot of time with that when people think central football central Michigan football under you what do you want people to say well, I just want them to be proud of our players. I want, uh, you know, I want our players to be able to hold their heads up and say, you know what, we've done everything we can uh, to help the chips get a little bit better. And um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to them having that opportunity. And uh, you know, more than anything, I'm excited to get going. Anything fun in the off season besides moving into a barn? <laughs> no, you know, but that was pretty fun. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's a great place. Let me tell you, I, uh, you know, the McGurk family there in in Mount Pleasant have, have uh, you know, everybody in Mount Pleasant. I'm telling you, the the people there, it's just been fun. Uh, they're great. It's a great community. Uh, it's fun to be a part of. And uh, you know, I was able to get back and uh, got all three of my kids, my two grandkids together, and uh, we were able to spend some time back in Montana, where I'm from, and and that's such a special thing, you know, when you're able to get family together. My fiance is a chip. Is she? Former chip. Yeah, we're getting married in about 30 days. So. And our camera guy's a chip. And a uh, yeah, 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 they're right? everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere. So, and and all I would expect is after you do the, your vows, okay. all right, you get done doing and you get presented to the crowd. I expect her to say, "Fire up!" All right. <laughs> Katie, there you go. There's your opportunity. That's all right. perfect. All right, man.